fucking people. That is crazy. Well, I had a more interesting video coming up because I went for a ride with a, with a subscriber yesterday and that shit was fun, man. We went Box Hill because I've never been Box Hill in my life. And um, he's commented on videos before, he's called them from London on YouTube. And uh, oh my god. And yeah, man, it was calm. We met up. He wanted me to take a look at his bike because he's he's heard some like noise coming from it, but I think it's just the gearbox noise. And uh, he only had the bike for like a month or something, so he wasn't used to all the sounds that it was making. So yeah, it turns out everything checked out fine, and it was oh, okay. No indicator yet. Yeah, everything checked out fine, and we went for a ride. And uh, we wanted to film Box Hill and make like a cool video. And that didn't go as planned. Because uh, obviously I haven't been filming a while now in the, in the sun. So uh, we didn't bring any ND filters. And my unprepared dumbass didn't bring my camera. Well, I brought my camera, but I didn't bring the set of skeleton casing. And I didn't bring my ND filter either. So we're like, okay, cool, we can still use my audio recorder. And the, like, the sound quality came out great. And uh, <laughs> the video quality, though, was beyond sub-optimal. I had no idea it was that bright, but when I got the actual footage, holy moly it was like getting flashbanged by like a hundred flash grenades at the same time watching the footage it was nuts and i was confused man because we had the cameras both like i set the camera to to iso 100 minimum maximum 100 so it's like the lowest light sensitivity um and it's got the ooh, it's got the slowest shutter speed least amount of exposure or well, artificial lighting that's what iso is right And uh, yeah, man, the, the the footage just just turned out bright as hell. <laughs> I'll put that. I'll, I'll just switch it over to the footage from yesterday. I put an NDA on. Hopefully it's not too dark now. Because uh, I need to get back into the habit of you know picking the right ND filter for the right you know brightness of day. And obviously during winter when it's all gloomy and miserable, you don't need to think about that. As long as you get the actual camera light settings right, it's all good. But now I gotta think even more. Ugh, poor me, right? <laughs> closures people didn't even know about and <laughs> now they're doing u-turns in the middle of the road to get out of it <laughs> this is nuts Jesus. Hey, these guys got the right idea go to the park so originally the upload was going to be a ride with a sub or from like a subs pov which is you know, I just thought about it and I can make that into like a new segment because since the weather's getting really good now and it's getting, you know, the sun's coming out earlier than it should have and the weather's getting pretty nice for this week and next week as well. So, I'm going to put a pinned comment down below and the people who want to comment still comment as usual but leave the people that are like available to ride around London or who will want to come down to like South London or like, you know, near like Surrey or Sussex, that kind of area or somewhere up North London 
um, like Midlands, kind of like Gloucestershire, that kind of area, because I know there's loads of nice roads around there, like Sirencester and things like that. Um, so yeah, if, if you want to come out for rides, and if you're available, whenever, um, just drop a comment on that pinned comment that I put underneath the video, and I'll leave my Instagram um, page in the description as well, and then just message me over there so I can have a list of people, so that every time when I'm you know looking for someone to come ride with or whoever wants to join a group ride, I'll just look straight in those comments um, and I can find you straight away. And I think you can DM people across YouTube where you can send them like a private comment. I don't know if that's a thing, but I think you can do that. And then, um, yeah, whenever I'm going for a ride, I'll message you guys like a couple of days in advance because I don't really plan my rides. You know, we just kind of get together somewhere in London and just ride out somewhere. But if you're like outside of London, we can always meet you somewhere um, and go for a ride together. Everyone's welcome, but don't get me wrong when I say this, but if you don't have the right bike um, You will get left behind <laughs> Because obviously when everyone's out going for rides We can't be waiting up for people that have got like, you know, less powerful bikes But if you think you can keep up and uh, you think you can like out not outride people But you know keep up with the group so we don't have to always stop and wait come and join um, But if you do get left behind obviously don't complain about it, you know, we'll always stop at some point to talk and you can always catch up um, if that includes you um, but yeah, I just want to include people but I don't want to let them, you know, feel surprised when they get there and then they're left behind but yeah, just, just be prepared if your bike's not quick enough or if you don't think you can keep up it's also for your own safety as well but if you are interested for rides, like I said just drop a comment below or reply to my pinned comment and then we can get that sorted um, yeah, other than that, I did some more like repairs or fixing up with the 2014, uh, 2015 MT-07. I removed like most of the paint off of the plastic. There's still a couple of bits, like the um, these guards on the sides. Where is it? This one, the guy painted over for some reason. I don't know why. It's meant to be silver as well, so I got to remove that. That's the next thing I got to do. But I've removed all the paint off of the fairing, and then there's like a cap right behind the seat that he's painted as well. I'm pretty sure if you guys remember, um, it's like a part that's reacted really badly with the weather. And. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to replace that entire thing because uh, right now I tried to scrub some of the paint off and it's just not coming off. It's, it's looking really bad. So I think I might just have to replace the entire thing because I know Sid, you wanted to come down and take a look at it or something or give me a hand with things. Um, but I'll ride up to the garage first so that I can explain better what's going on. Alrighty, hope it's not too dark, but yeah. So that's what I've done so far. Let's get all the paint off of it and it looks it's looking really nice at the moment. Still gotta get some more of the paint off. But there's some scratches on it, which is I didn't know about because it was painted over. But yeah, either way, I was gonna get a body kit put over this to clean everything up completely because there's still some paint residue around the stickers and I can't really get it out properly and I don't wanna scrub it down too hard. Um so yeah, I think I might just take everything off um completely and cover it with like a body kit over and then the next person who wants to keep it they can take the body kit off and then i'm pretty sure you can polish over this and clean it up a bit and get rid of it but for what i'm doing i don't need to do that so i think it is still repairable and there's yeah there's still like a couple of a couple of scratches here and there gotta get the paint off of this i already said i gotta replace the back plate because that one looks shot to bits um and yeah so here is the wiring situation and I've got no idea how anything works because I haven't seen like a wiring diagram or anything which I need to go take a look at but um, I don't know what this does because that's empty probably something to do with the ECU or charging the battery or jump starting same for this one but these are for the indicators but there's only three and I believe there should be four because one of them is for the left one of them is for the right and one of them might have the relay included as well and I don't know what the, I think this might be the relay I have no idea what I'm talking about but one of these things is the relay and this is for the indicator so if anyone knows anything about wiring for this bike please leave a comment below so i know how to fix all this stuff i'll go back and watch videos on it now anyway um so i can get it done ah i didn't think about this part i think i might have to take all this off and repaint it up and everything as well um, but yeah, I was going to clean up all this as well, so I'm going to get some WD-40, probably take off the entire plastic kit here, clean up the subframe, spray paint it over, make it look nice, um, so that when the next person comes along, the bike's actually going to be nice to ride. Um, also got to get rid of this, 
but yeah, I didn't want to do too much work to it at the moment because I want to fix all the wiring situation because the indicators don't work at the moment and the heater grips are unplugged as well and that is like almost 200 pound accessory that I would like to get fixed but yeah, that is basically everything that clutch is a lost cause I think it's just to do with the cable because look at how rusted that is and I know I can replace all of this, the clutch cable sheath and um, it's pretty easy, we can just take the clutch cable out, pull the whole thing out put a new clutch cable in and uh, that could be fixed but yeah, if anyone knows anything about how to do any of this please let me know and hopefully I've figured out a way to do it before you guys get to it <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to push this bike back in because it's getting chilly and I don't want to be out here for too long because I still got to ride home and I didn't bring any of my biking gear Alright, so now we got to go and pick up my girlfriend from work because I'm a nice person and it's sunny and uh, I felt bad because she's working a Saturday <laughs> So we're gonna ride over there and pick her up But good news, cause I get to send it around the ring road That is what we love, sending it around the ring road <laughs> you want me to do a wheelie? <laughs> oh, you can never send it around here anymore, man. There's too many people. I don't get about London where you pay so much money and you get so little in return that guy's got a half a million pound Ferrari I don't know if it's it's not an F12 is it? it's an F F something Stradale or was it F8 I can't remember what it is but that car is a half a million pound hybrid hypercar supercar wherever it is and he's probably paid yeah he's probably paid that amount for the bike as well and he's probably paid about 10 million pounds for his house and what happens? you got to keep his shit outside you spend half a million pounds on a fucking hypercar and you got to keep it on the streets because there's barely any houses in London that have garages well it's, it's just, it's, it's insane like I go through Hampstead here yeah, and there's like a 20 million pound mansion and stuff no garage Sometimes not even with a driveway, like a tiny driveway for two cars. 20 million pound like mansion. You gotta chuck your million pound supercar or hypercar on the road, like this man. And McLaren's, Ferraris, everywhere just parked on the street. It's nuts. <laughs> London's crazy. It's just not worth it. And people wanna get nice things. And then, you know, some dickhead will come along and just key your shit, or even worse, just steal the whole thing. Fucking ridiculous, mate. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And, uh, like I said, I can't reiterate enough. If you want to come out for group rides or whatever, just write a reply in the pinned comment that I put. Um, please only put your pinned comment. Like, please only put your replies for the pink comment there and if you want to talk about anything else feel free to just write a normal comment you don't have to reply to that um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed that video and uh, leave a like comment I don't know what else you say subscribe fucking normal cringy ass YouTube stuff you got to do but yeah man I'll catch you guys next week and hopefully we're gonna have a proper sub and me riding video and that will be pretty entertaining and hopefully it's just gonna be more than me and, the, and another dude 
Um, so yeah, I'll catch you guys on Wednesday.